it's, it's, it's a lot to deal with, man. Let out your tears when you're ready, you know what I mean? You don't learn in school when people die, you do this or do that. Everyone's got their own ways of going about it. When it's all done and you go, I'm gonna see my people again, do you know what I mean? Be at my happiest. This perspective has been sponsored by Fireway Pizza. Get 20% off your pizza by using our discount code AD20. Link in the description. And now let's clock in and take time to get into the Lowski perspective. Lowski, I want to talk about, I want to recount the, the time in jail. Having 18 police officers yeah. on your case. What does that what what does that even entail? Like the average person isn't gonna understand eighteen police officers. So it's like a gang expert, forensics, uh, forensics on different things. I had two charges in it. One's possession for firearm, another's conspiracy to murder. For one of them is like uh, DNA on a glove with gun gun gunshot residue. So there's gunshot residue fed as well. Another will be like DNA for the firearm and the sock that it was in. And then the rest of the feds are like bad character. Do you know what I mean? Some of the feds are part of my arrest. So it's like, obviously I got t pack That's like when they come close you in, free cars. So, that's what like. They had like eight feds that come arrest me. And then the other 12, 12 what is it? 12 or 10 is like, yeah, just, Going back from when I'm like 12, 13, my bad character, head fed, and my case is the fed from when I was 14, when I got stabbed. Now he's in charge of my case, trying to send me to jail. So, yeah, it's just. So, I mean, this may be good. So, were you under surveillance then? They say no, but they say yeah, innit? They say they weren't following me, but they say they were surveilling my house. How does that make you feel like you know that you're being watched? Did you think you were being watched? Yeah, slyly. Slyly, I didn't know it was them though. You thought it was someone else? Yeah, like I thought, I just had that funny feeling. Do you know what I mean? But, yeah man. 2018 or 2019 you go in and your position at that point, in my opinion, was your, your, your the next one to go. Whether you saw it as not, that's how we saw you as. Lowski's gonna go, I think you were doing well on the BBC, um, ones to watch. Lost to Lewis Capaldi, but that's Lewis, we give it to Lewis, you get me, like, Drake's coming to your show. Drizzy, you get me, word for word. Get me, you're the cool kid. Girl them's on it, drippiest. And then. 100%. It's a change, you know what I mean? How I was living, like, man's got shows every other week. Do you know what I mean? Gal upon gal, the mandem's getting gal upon gal. Do you know what I mean? Busy, if not interviews, meetings with my PR team, photo shoots, video shoots, studio time. Do you know what I mean? My schedule's full up, so to go from there to what is it? Twenty hour, eighteen hour bang up in a cell, boxed in can see your family once a week, you know what I mean? Legal visits, fighting for your thing, so it's a, it's a complete change, you know what I mean? In a position where you're making constant money to making nothing, do you know what I mean? It's dead, bro. Getting news that your people's dying. It's long, bro. We, that part, because I know how it was on the outside for us, but you on the inside, like, how do you grieve on the inside? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You let out your tears when you're ready, you know what I mean? Pray. Stay prayed up, really. Do you know what I mean? You just, I don't know. I don't know how to go about all of that, man. That ain't nothing that, you're not, you're not born and you don't learn in school when people die. You do this or do that. Everyone's got their own ways of going about it. I, that's what I said, my thing is, when it's all done and you go, I'm gonna see my people again, do you know what I mean? Be at my happiest. So, you're straight. With, um, like, you and that's were close, yeah? So, 
do you ever feel like right he ain't, he ain't like he ain't seeing this with me like he's not nah, on this journey. he didn't get to live nothing with man do you know what i mean so you have that guilt he didn't get to live nothing with man he ain't get to do nothing do you think that and we'll get into do you think people actually even understand Jarrell? Nah, but they, they don't need to, innit? They're not, they're not, they don't pay for that. <laughs> I, I, I guess, okay, we're gonna, I guess, not the fans. I'm moving more towards the criminality of how you've been portrayed in court. Nah, because they don't come court, they don't see that. They probably just think it's, they probably think because I'm on bail that it's like, bro, I get minimum 14 if I'm guilty. Minimum? Yeah, bro, that's my starting point. What's the max? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, it does make no no difference, does it? Can say anything, really. Do you know what I mean? And it's gonna be EDS, so that's like fourteen do twelve. Do you do like three quarters of your sentence? They don't do half no more. Once it's over like ten years. From when you first got remanded, was that always the case that it was gonna be like minimum fourteen for the for the charges? My solicitor told me, so yeah. Bro, okay, bro, again, this is, uh, I can't think what's happening next year. Bro, you're young, bro. You're still in your prime, my guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't afford that, bro. I'll be coming out rusty, 30-odd. <laughs> China thing, that's dead. That's dead, that's dead. Still got your humor a little bit, bro. Yeah, but that's what it is, though, man. I don't know. I just think I just got to stay prayed up, do you know what I mean? I'm paying for the best legal team I got right now, so that's a good advantage I got. I know how to articulate myself to the jury, so that's another advantage. But everything else is like, it's in the jury's hands and God's hands, you know what I mean? I can't, I can only stay prayed up, bro, man. That's what I'm waiting on right now, my verdict. Just waiting on my verdict. That's it, bro. Bro, when you hear, but when you do hear 14 years possible, like, I know, I'm, I'm trying to think, bro, and I know you're saying, yeah, the outcome, you pray, you listen to that. But bro, there must be times in your life, and I'm just trying to almost put words into your mouth where you're thinking, this can't be real. Bro, I get butterflies when I think about that, bro. Do you know what it is though? Forget the music and me and even mum and that. Obviously love mum and family and that, but bro, I got a daughter, bro. Do you know what I mean? I can't, I can't do that, bro. That's gonna mash her up, bro. She's not gonna be how I need her to be with me gone. Regardless if she becomes the next prime minister. She could have been the president of America, maybe. Do you know what I mean? Like, if I was out, do you know what I mean? So, I don't know, man. She's just, I need to stay out for her sake anyway, to just make sure I guide her in the right way. Cause I see it as, do you know what I mean? A, 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 a girl's first love is meant to be her dad. So, I need to show her a certain way, treat her a certain way so she knows how to be treated, how to go about certain things, stay away from certain stuff, go that way in life and not that way. No one can. Mum's always going to do the best job she can, but her mum's not her dad, do you know what I mean? And I'm not her mum, so it works both ways. Bro, even, okay, we are here doing an interview, but even talking about the case, people haven't heard you speak about it, but even you speaking about it, is it, you mustn't want to speak about these types of things. Nah, man, it's long, do you know what I mean? I just try and, I don't know, bro. I'm in the position I'm in, so I just got to try and stay focused. That's all I think, man. Obviously, I make it look like I'm dealing with it better, but yeah. not even it is what it is, bro. I just got to fight it, bro. I'm fighting for my life, you know what I mean? I ain't here. This ain't no two, three years, or do you know what I mean? I never thought I'd be thinking, boy, I'd be happy with a, with a, with a five year. I could do, bro, I've rubbed out three and a half years of this case already, do you know what I mean? So if they gave me a seven or something, I would have been out now. Do you know what I mean? When I look at it then, man, I think, seven, I ain't on that. Hey, I ain't on that. Bro, I'd have been out now. So, yeah, man, it's, 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 it's a difficult one. Bro, we talk about your mum. I've met, well, I've seen your mum. Bro, <laughs> lovely lady. Swag, I like your mum's good. Yeah, yeah. I can already tell, from my perception, like, your mum, your mum's not, She's not built for this. Yeah, you know what it is though? My mum's young, innit? So my mum understands what's going on. Like, some people, they have older parents where they don't understand. Some people's parents are not born in a country. My mum knows the thing, do you know what I mean? She knows the environment. 
Do you know what I mean? My dad is my dad, so she knows and has a picture. I can speak to my mum, do you know what I mean? I've always had that support from her. So, you know what I think though? I swear down for like the last couple of months, yeah. I was thinking, blood, she's been through a lot. Cause my mum's what? 41 now. She had me at like 17. So you see when I'm like 13, 14, you been getting stabbed at 14. I'm in country at 13, 14, 15. Gone jail for a gun at 15. Blood, my mum's like 33, 34, 35. You're not meant to be worrying about where your son is and your son getting nicked and feds coming to your house in your 30s. My mum was meant to be out partying, blood. Come, bro, I see, I get 30 year old girl, blood. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So, fam, to be putting my mum through that, it's a jail thing. And I know it's definitely a step back for her because she's seen my life be so tired, wrong, nothing going on for me to be taking off. You know what I mean? So, it's definitely a step forward, a step back. I feel it for her, man. It must put a, it's a stress, you know it stresses her, innit? Nah, facts, man. I feel mad guilty for it, but she understands that I'm not the person that these people be painting. Forget, she knows that. Forget music, who are you, bro? I think I'm a good person, man. Do you know what I mean? I ain't one of them, like, cold people, man. I just been through bare shit. And it's not to glorify, it's just what man's had to deal with. And to be going through all of that, to still come out how man is, bro, I gotta pat myself on the back sometimes, car. That breaks bare man. And not everyone in the ends is doing what man's doing. So I'm obviously doing something right, do you know what I mean? Some man don't have the mind state to stay focused. Some man couldn't be on a case for three and a half years on tag, be banned from everyone, do you know what I mean? Paying your legal fees and putting money down for bill and, do you know what I mean? Still making records and still, your label still believing in you. Bro, you know how much man's been dropped from I got my case? You know how much man are looking for a new deal? How much man are still trying to make their music work? I still got my thing, it's just not where I need it to be. So, yeah, man. It's, focus is the main thing, bro. Let's touch back on the authenticity, right? Um, or like, the bell conditions, how they're affecting you. In terms of the people you could be around, the things you could say, what you can't say. Walk us through that part again. Bro, like, I got what, like, 20 names on my bell conditions. That's basically all my brethren that I grew up with. I'm not allowed to be with them. If I'm be with them or in contact with them, phoning them, social media or anything, go back to jail. I'm allowed with two men from the ends. They're in jail right now. So, it's, it's, it's a lot to deal with, man. You can't speak to them, you can't. Then how, how, did, how do the fans get the room? They can't, that's why I say it's like 50% of what Lowski brings taken away from me. So, I don't know. I'm putting up a good fight with it now, so I guess I'm doing all right. I just got to wait till it's all done, go back to my full potential. Because that's what I was given last time without me knowing, do you know what I mean? That was my potential and me going at it. It was me, they loved me for a reason. I don't know why it was. I didn't say, please love me, what they did, do you know what I mean? So I just gotta go back to, not go back in time, cause you're always gonna elevate, do you know what I mean? I got more content to talk about. I can go into detail more when I'm rapping about certain things when I was going through, but. Yeah, man. Costs, yeah, I'm not gonna ask you costs, yeah. But I said this to someone before, and I said, in life, yeah, if you don't have money, you don't. <laughs> if you don't have resources. Yeah, nah, you're gone. If you didn't, if you weren't able to pattern Rubbed. this, do you think you'd be rubbed out now? Rubbed. Rubbed. 100%. Rubbed. If I didn't have my, 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 my wicked man barrister right now, wicked woman solicitor, plus my barrister's junior, nah, man, never. Never, never, never. Do you know what I mean? People don't even, like, there's bare man that's got the same charges on me, had a recharge. They're not getting bail, bro. Obviously, my job and be able to put money down for bail and have the legal team to represent me is, is defo gave me the best result of what I can get. That's why I'm out right now. So I pick them up all the time and they work super hard. And bro, also like you said, having a label, like so, and for me, like, I've been in some of the court, um, court dates, yeah. And I think that, and this is as ignorant as it sounded, yeah, I was like, where's his brethren? Then I realized his brethren probably can't even come. I won't let the man them come. The man them wanna come court. I told them, don't you dare come court, bro. There ain't no coming court. You can't, bro. Bro, they got 
like 30 names of the man them on a whole sheet of paper for the jury to read out and they got pictures of them this man this man this man this man you come and sit in the jury they're gonna oh you're who shut up the place <laughs> you're who this is who he says you st like bro come on man i can't do you know what i mean i can't i can't bring them nah man and some of the man them ain't got no suits on that and you know the other man them can't the man them can't come court they don't know how to conduct themselves now nah, man you know uh, yeah coming in your tech you know what brethren you can bring around and whatnot i love them but you just know who you can bring and who can't but when you sit in a dock yeah it's exhausting like ah uh, bro that I was trying not to sleep, bro. Bro, I fell asleep in the dock once. My barrister went mad at me. <laughs> went mad at me. So I'll be staying up. Bro, it's, it's, it's long. It's, ex it's actually exhausting. It's like just sitting there, you can't go into your phone. You have to focus. Someone's just talking, talking. You can't interrupt. You just have to listen. And the thing is, it's fun, not funny, but it's like, it don't like, when you walk into the, um, what's the part that you, where you sit down, yeah? You know where you go into sit down? That, when you come in, you go in a glass and there's that ma that man. Yeah, yeah, the dock. And then when they lock it, I think you're like... Bro, that's why I speak, because I think, bro, really? obviously before, when I've gone on my trials, I've always been on remand, so I'm used to them. I don't beat out. I go there and go straight back down to the cell. This time, on breaks, I get to be with my family. I get to eat proper food and all of that. Do you know what I mean? So I get to ask my family how they reckon I'm doing how they reckon the case is going. Before that, I'm in jail. I'm going back to jail phone. Yo, how do you reckon it's going on? So it's better. It's better. It's much better. But when they lock that door, yeah, you're always thinking, yo. Yeah, bro. And that's why I can't afford to get this guilty. Because if they say guilty, I'm going straight to jail that day, bro. No. Go say bye to your family. Nah. Go downstairs. Long. Yeah, you can't even, as you said, it has to be like positive. 100%. Towards, towards I don't even like saying it. Yeah, I know, I can tell. I don't like saying it, bro. But trust me though, you see me, yeah, I'm not one of them man like, yo, I'm beating my case, you know, my thing's looking proper and I know it's looking dead. Bro, I would have gone guilty if I thought it's peak or, it is peak, but I'll go guilty if I thought I can't fight this or if I thought it was bad right now, bro, I'll tell man, yo, I think I'm gone. I don't, I honestly don't think I'm gone, but I have to have that thought in my mind as I don't know these 12 people, I don't know nothing about them, bro. I don't know where their man is. I don't know how they're going to feel on their day. They might be pissed and think, nah, he's going to jail. But that's what I was like. You see, on, a, on, a, on, a, on cases, there's like, obviously your barrister represents you and your prosecution are going to go against you. But there's a couple things that like prosecution lean on, core evidence. So that's DNA, CCTV and witnesses. There's bad character, but bad character only holds so much. My bad character is when I'm, I'm a youth and I've explained what my bad character reasons for how I ended up in them positions. If I was from Birmingham and coming down to Kennet and getting nicked with this and nicked with that, and then it's like, you're going out your way to do this. I had no choice when I was younger to grow up where I grew up. Do you know what I mean? The environment's the environment. I ain't the only one that's gone through that stuff. But DNA, yeah, cool. I admit to bringing the, 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 the gun in the cab with reasons behind it. CCTV of how I say I got the, the, and surveillance, sorry, that's another one as well. But my surveillance was from my house. But yeah, CCTV from <coughs> how I say I got the gun, where is it? No one can prove it, that it never happened. So that's a doubt. A witness, Someone saying, I saw that he never done this or he did do this. Where is it? It's not there. Do you know what I mean? So all the prosecution have is my rap, what I talk about. Because what I talk about is what makes me in a the gang, they're saying, really. Because my convictions can't put me in a gang. Because there's loads of people that's been arrested for guns, knives and drugs, and they're not in no gang. You go, I don't know, Coventry, you're going to find loads of them guys in no gang. You do it in London, there's guys in no gang too. But... Without my music, what puts me in a gun? Could they just say, oh, you incite violence and you're going against them? Bro, rap battles happen all day. It's been happening for out the last 30 years or whatever. Then there's like my associates. I cannot help who I went to school with and played football with and grew up and who's my neighbor. I know these people. And I'm not in court saying I don't know them or I don't write my, I do rap, I do write my lyrics. It's common knowledge though. 
We have social media. This ain't the 80s, bro. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Any shooting, murder, stabbing that happens in Lambeth, how am I not going to know about it? It's my borough. My mum knows about it. You think she's there chatting, chatting to this person, that person? No, she just sees it. It's common knowledge. Do you know what I mean? So without my music and associations, what makes me in a gang? But if I don't rap, then what? I'm just a normal youth on the ends. So you don't want me to rap? All right, cool. Let me stop rapping. I'm going to go back to living at my mum's house. <laughs> and, almost, and almost, it's almost like, it's almost was painted as a crime for you to go back to Kennington, like your mum doesn't live there. Bro, bro, the borough, the Lambeth borough stopped me from going into my mum's house, bro. When I come out of jail, when I was 17, no, 15, they put me on a three-year ban from going into my mum's house because the gun was found in her house. So they said, if I go to her house, then they're going to evict her. How mad is that, bro? I had a gun in my house when I was 15. They said, oh, my mum must have knew about it. She's saying, how? Why? Cool, everyone can have their opinions on it, but she didn't. But if I do go to her house, then they're going to evict her. So I had no choice but to, and where my mum's block is, is the main block of where she lives, you know what I mean? So when I'm going there, it's like, bro, it's impossible for me to not see everyone. And bro, I've come out of jail as a rapper. You think everyone's not excited right now? Bro, my neighbours are happy to see me right now. They're thinking, oh, we're hearing you on radio. The man, they're my gas right now. Well, I wasn't banned from being with them, so why can't I be with them? Do you know what I mean? I get to see my friends and see my mum. But the feds are on this. No, I was there because I'm a gang member. I was there because I love this stuff. They tried to put so many things that other people had done and try and connect you to it, and that's got nothing to do with your case. I've never been arrested with none of the man them. Never. So, I want to know what gang activity I'll be doing with everyone. I ain't, be, I ain't seen, I ain't been questioned about nothing. Do you know what, and when I was listening is, the amount of social media they go through and they give the interpretation of it. Yeah. People who aren't from the culture or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And you're sitting there, you must be thinking, which I guess is good when you actually get to give your, when you got to give your own like testimony like, this isn't what, it, what you're- Do you know what, it's, it's good and it's bad, isn't it? Because they're always gonna have their opinion, but the first part of your case is prosecution giving their evidence. It's always gonna sound bad. When me and the defense come and give our evidence, they can't tell my life and what was going on better than me. So that's why, I remember, I don't have to go on the stand. I choose to go on the stand to put this picture to the jury of what's really going on. And when I put that to them, it makes, it shows how dumb the prosecution are and what they're trying to put, how far they're trying to reach. You know what I mean, so. Bro, this is gonna sound again, probably a bit mad. Why are they so on you, bro? Ah, uh, bro, I wish I knew, honestly. Honestly, I wish I knew. Because this has been, what, three and a half years? Yeah. Nearly four, sorry. No, probably like, yeah. Three Had and two three. trials already. Yeah, two trials. Mm -hmm. They've spent, they've probably spent a lot of money. Bare money. Do you know what it is? That's why it's mad. You see, if I had a victim on my case, like someone was harmed, normally you'll go into your third trial, maybe fourth, fourth maybe for murder. But well, third, really for there's a victim. Someone's been shot, stabbed, they're harmed, crazy damage. The family's appealing because the family are thinking, oh, my child or, oh, my nephew or my grandson or whatever, granddaughter, whoever it is, they're thinking they need a result. Bro, I don't have no victim. It's me and a gun in a cab. I've gave my side of the story. Bro, I don't know if we can touch on this. We can't take this out. I think the most harrowing part for me in the court case is when I heard about what happened to your mum's crib, bro. Yeah. And that sounded a bit, it was like, yeah, that's different. Yeah, like, that's what he says. He says, oh, shots were fired at your mum's house. Is that it? I think, are you really saying out loud, is that it? Does that happen to your mum's house? What more do you want to happen? Like, what do you want mummy to get shot? I don't, do you want mummy to dead? Like, do you know what I mean? So, man said it with a smile on my face, but that ain't funny, bro. My mum has to live with that stuff. So, yeah, man. Fed, feds are weird, though, bro, man. They got a, they got a, nah, they're weird, bro. Can make Johnny from up the street get his phone robbed. They're there in two minutes, bro, ready to secure the place. Bro, they don't believe nothing, I tell them. That's why it's like, I don't know, man. But they, they, they contradict themselves a lot, man. They, they, paint a lot of scenarios, then four hours later or two days later, they're gonna paint another scenario that goes back on what they said in the first place. And jury's not stupid, at the end of the day, they're humans, you know what I mean? So they will see 
because they just paint one picture and one scenario for everything that's gone through my thing. I paint five of what could be a possibility of stuff. And from I can do that, how can I get proven guilty? Bro, I feel like I'm going to be done wrong if I get proven guilty, bro, because I'm proving more than reasonable doubt for why what I'm saying is true. Do you know what I mean? It's like... Well, I think the thing is, bro, and again, sitting in there, to the letter of the law, as I've understood it from being in the, in the trial myself, they have to be 100% certain. Yeah, and that's, the only thing that that, can't be that's, that's why I was saying, like, things that really get you guilty on cases, CCTV, you are there, a witness, that was you. Do you know what I mean? Surveillance, we was surveilling at this time. I don't have them things on my case. What they have on my case is my lyrics and association with people. I'm not rapping for free, bro. I ain't taunting people for free, bro. Do you know what? Yeah, people probably do get offended. So do I, bro. I deal with it. Do you know what I mean? When a man chats shit and makes a diss song, yeah, cool. Do you know what I mean? Who I grew up with is who I grew up with. Like I said, bro, I didn't meet these people last year. I didn't decide. They weren't a gang and I thought, let me go over there and see what over there is. No, bro, I grew up in this area. I know these people. People ain't gangsters 24 seven of the day, you know? People are normal people. People could be a normal man, 364 days of the year, but he's on badness for that one day. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, so it's, 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 it's easier saying it like this. When I say it like this, people probably think, yeah, he's never getting guilty. But nah, bro. At the end of the day, you're going to get people in the jury that believe the police instantly. Do you know what I mean? They're just seeing me in that dock and think, nah, he has to be guilty. He's in the dock. I ain't been in the dock. Do you know what I mean? So, and yeah, I think they, they 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 put so many things. Like I'm in there and they're, and they're going through like hundreds of pictures of Instagram. Mm. They're going through messages, like it's, and there's, and these were things from like five years ago. Bro, crazy, bro. Videos from 2014 and that. Like. Well, how old are you even then? 14. <laughs> You've been a gang member. You're in the Black Prince video and you're 14. Bro, do you know how excited I was to be in that video? That was the first Kennington video I got in, bro. You know what I mean? Gassed. Gassed. Like, bro, videos don't happen every day. There's nothing exciting going on in the hood. I didn't have no job or nothing then. I weren't. I'm a kid, bro. So there's a music video going on in the ends. Why don't I want to go in it? I'm excited, bro. I was a kid. Well, I'm a gang member because of that. Because I'm happy that there's a video man shooting a video. You don't want to be in a music video when they're a kid. I'm thinking I'm going on YouTube. You're feeling famous. All the 14 year olds was gas when they saw me in that, bro. I get judged on that now. It's wild. The music industry, yeah. Mm. Ah, this is going to sound, it's, it's, totally take this how you want. Do you think you've had enough support from your peers and even like the media? Do you, do you feel you've had support? Like who? Just in general, like, just in general, like, because I think what you've gone through is quite unique. No, I'm not the people's favourite right now, innit? They don't care unless you're the people's favourite. But I don't care about that, though. This, this thing's like, they're not here for that, bro. Like, I'm not here to, oh, fuck the industry. Yeah. But I didn't grow up with them. They don't owe me nothing. I come in their thing and started chilling. So if, if something happens and stuff gets messed up, oh, what do I want them to do? Hold my hand? No. You I never felt like that though. You never felt like, right, this is nah. actually my guy guy and then something no, also. No, really. no. Why though? Bro, like, Ricky stood by my thing, do you know what I mean? Absolutely. So, man large him up differently. Because as I said, Bear Man's been dropped from their labels. Bear Man's thing ain't been so... Bear Man that I was top of the league coming through, they're not now, bro. I ain't gonna say man and that, but bro, everyone can see who was shelling off in 018 and they're not now, bro. Do you know what I mean? So that thing happens. But no, nah, Rick, man, he's solid. Come court for me, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Proper, bro. Well, I'm not gonna, and I'm not going to stir the hornet's nest, but you did speak about, like, even when people, like, poke fun at you or whatever, lyrically, I'm just going to say it's that, yeah. Do you, that type of thing, yeah, when you get into, like, let's say, lyrical, you know, sparring, yeah, yeah. do you enjoy it? It's fun, isn't it? So you don't take it serious? No, because I don't rate man out here, bro. <laughs> what am I taking serious? I don't rate man out here, bro. Like, I don't, do you know what I mean? I don't feel like, like if Gucci man made it this, man, I feel like, damn, Gucci, I used to listen to you, bro. 
I grew up on you. Why are you doing me like that? Bro, these people that are talking and that now, bro, your kids, bro, you come up with hazard, bro. You think I care what you're saying out here now? You're trying to prove that you're the most wickedest thing out here? Loud that, man. I just played a little game with you. But it's entertainment at the end of the day, do you know what I mean? I don't really see it as nothing else. All right, bro, so when people see this um, interview, like, we don't, we don't, we, as, as of now, we don't know what the outcome is going to be. Right. And I'm not even going to, it can go either or. So, so we're going to go with, you're free, right? Yeah, that's you're free. mad, though. Now, I need, you're free, all restrictions done, yeah. boom. Where, where, if you beat the case, are you able to, like, be around all your people and everything can... Bro, I'm, it's up and stuck, bro, like. I can go to America, my boy. I ain't ever been allowed to America. Oh, you love that bit, bro. Bro. Nah, no, I'm gonna be gas, bro, man. Musically, bro. This is, do we get now 100%? Yeah, facts. No excuse now, bro. If I don't word me to you, if I don't be where I need to be, you tell everyone Lowski's on chattings. His thing's not where it was, bro. He's lame. But I know that ain't gonna happen, bro. I know what, like, trust me, bro. And that's why I'm, I don't panic on the music side, bro. Music's just, do you know what I mean? I enjoy music, I like making music. I know how to go about it. I just can't do what I need to do right now. And I can't make it my main focus because I need to focus on this case, do you know what I mean? Right now, I've done everything I can for my case, though. I'm just waiting on my verdict right now. So, but I pray, bro. I'm pretty hard as well. That so goes well. I got my angels watching over me, so. Everything will be straight, man. But this, 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 and this may sound controversial, yeah. If you get off, there are going to be some people who think that you've, you've done, you've informed, that it's going to be people's going to think things. I'm presuming, because I've sat in the case and I've not heard, there's, there's no name that's been pointed out, nothing. Bro, like, you have to be a real funny guy to be doing all, like, putting that on me, like, but nah, I don't care about that. I ain't worried about that. I ain't worried about that. I see that presser guy from Canada doing all of that. Yeah, that's right. like, he was doing all that. Like, oh, he's a rat. I was like, about you? Yeah, I was like, this guy's funny. I didn't even, I didn't even, I didn't even see that, bro. But like, nah, bro, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't. Cause you know what it is? Like I said, bro, a lot of people think I beat my case. My last hung jury, bear man praying. Yes, he's. You know what I mean? So I know, bear man still. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, man. But nah, nah, nah. I'm, 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 I'm confident, that's one thing. I'm confident, but you have to be ready for worst case scenario. Bro, in closing, yeah. I know you've been working. Mm. I know there's, what is it, an album? What's, what's next, bro? Nah, tape. Tape? Yeah. <clears throat> you done recording? Yeah. Are the features locked in? Yeah. Can you tell me the features? No. Really? No. So even when you bust case, after everyone has to wait? No, once I bust case though, I'm gonna announce it. Okay, cool. But so I'm gonna hit good. you separately and let you know. All right, cool. So we're going to re-up, man. Yeah. We're going to double back. All right, cool, cool, cool. Bro, I want to say, like, just in closing, bro. One, do you know what I'm going to say, bro? Like, and it's going to sound mad. It's going to sound corny. It's going to sound like an old head. But man's proud of you because, bro, just even your attitude, bro. Like, I know this is a lot for a young person to carry, bro. And I know no matter what anyone thinks, yeah, no one wants the life that they sometimes inherit. Yeah. No, one, no one wants that. If you could have just said, like, I'll, I'll speak to Blanco. Blanco will be like, and he's different. He'll be like, bro, if I didn't, I, I wouldn't be a rapper. No, I could just work in the library if I wanted to. Like, yeah. I don't. Re I just want to be normal. Yeah, no, all the time, bro. I wish I could change my face. Yeah, yeah. I would, like M Huncho. He's yeah. laughing right now, bro. He's chilling. He just takes that off, hits the road, dilly dallying. When I met him, I didn't even know it was him, bro. I'm like, bro. Like, do you know what I mean? So yeah, if I can take, but that's the only thing I'll do. Cover my face. Cover my face. That's the only thing still. Cause you gotta live with you. Do you know what I mean? But apart from that, music's lit, bro. When it's up, it's lit. So 2023, man, we're back. Yeah, hundred percent. But I'm happy right now, bro, man. Besides everything, I'm happy, man. I'm in a. Do you know what I mean? Bro, and lastly, bro, tell me the last three and a half years. Tell me some of the lessons you learned, bro. Like, learn. What have I? I don't know what I've, I think like to move a certain way and just know that it can go like that. But I don't know. I got my daughter, do you know what I mean? That's like crazy, do you know what I mean? That just makes you look at women, because I got a girl. So you just look at women differently. Do you know? Not that I was treating girls badly, but like, 
I didn't care, you know what I mean? I was 19. I don't think a lot of 19 year olds care, care. Do you know what I mean? But I got my gal now. Do you know what I mean? Love of my life and that. Hopefully I get married. So yeah, come. I can't lie, bro. Who could be your chatting, boy? Bro, trust me, no, I love this one, man. She's straight. She's straight. She's straight. Nah, nah, no, she's straight, but bro, no one can't imagine you being married, you know? Nah, 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 I'm gone you. I'm gone you. 100%. But I don't know. Hopefully I'm not getting married for the wrong reasons, though. What's the right reasons? Re marriage is more a religion thing, though. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's even like saying boyfriend and girlfriend. That's just a title. Do you know what I mean? They're titles. Me getting married to a girl is not make, make me going to love her more. Do you know what I mean? I love the gal how I love her now. Me getting married is just for everyone else to show her off. Like, yo, I just put a ring on her. It's different. But I don't know. Maybe for a, a, a girl, it's a different meaning. They might feel like you're super, super duper locked in. Do you know what I mean? You give her that security right? there, man. No, 100. Right now, bro, you're always as ever a great person to chat to, man. And I think, yeah, um, I think, yeah, a lot of people will. I hope they understand, bro, what you what you've been going through, because you, bro, this has been a trying time. Like, there's people who ain't facing these cases who just can't release music because yeah. they just feel mentally they can't. Mm, but with all mm. the pressure you've had, stay strong, bro, man. Yeah, man. Stay strong, man. Bro, any last words you want to say to the camera, to your fans, to the people, whoever, bro? Pray for man, innit? Just pray. Keep praying once I beat my case. Keep praying for me that I don't get no more. Yeah, cause. And that was the perspective of Lowski. See you at the gates is out now. Go stream that. Download. Do what you need to do to support Lowski. What I'm now going to do is play some outtakes from our interview with Lowski. We had to shoot it twice. The reason being the first interview, which I'm now going to play, our mics collapsed. Collapsed. So we had to then do it again. But I think for context, I want everyone to hear some of the things that you may have missed in the first interview that I didn't put out initially. So, yeah, this is the outtakes of our interview with Lowski. Make sure you're following him on socials. Make sure you're subscribing to our platform. Let's just get it right. The perspective with Lowski. Let's go. When you did get arrested, mm. automatically, did you think the worst? Yeah, like, bro. It was a blur, cuz, do you know what I mean? It was like, I was thinking, nah, nah, nah. Not me, nah, do you know what I mean? I didn't think I was getting nicked again. So, yeah. What's the first thing that goes in your head? Is it, is it your career, is it your family, like, what, what, yourself? Nah, you see what it is, that's what people, see like getting nicked and going to jail, like people think like, oh, your career, that ain't what I'm thinking of, like, I ain't worried about like it's me, do you know what I mean? Like forget the career, me, like I gotta do with that so it's like that's what I'm more thinking of, like yo. Cause I've been in jail before, do you know what I mean? I've been jail three times before that, three, four times before that, so it's not even the jail that I'm thinking of or getting nicked, it's more like bro I know what that comes with, do you know what I mean? So and 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 and, and before that I ain't been jail as a rapper. So I'm not thinking like, when I've gone there now, I've realised, bro, this is mad. Like, being a rapper in jail is dead, bro. Being in jail is dead already, but being a rapper in jail is even worse. So you have to get used to a whole new pattern. But when you went in, so when, because I don't know how the system works, so you get arrested, do you get mm. reminded straight away? Nah, I got arrested and then I was in like police station for like two, three days. Then I've gone court and got reminded. Yes, you still got that hope though, like, yeah, man, could, must can get bail. But nah, nah, they shut that down. So what goes through your mind when they're like, yo, you'll be reminded? Do you think it's, it's done? Yeah, like, yeah, bro. Like, you're just thinking, blood, this is, this is not it. This weren't in the schedule. Like, <laughs> this weren't in my diary. So, yeah, man. But you, but you're saying you, you're going in as Lowski. Mm. Like, what's that like? Like being on the wing. What, what? Like, really? What is that like? Because I think people don't. Um, none of us were there with you, kind of thing. When I got there, they sent me straight to the wing where 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 my people was. So I was alright in that sense. But like, nah, man, that ain't. It, it weren't for me. Do you know what I mean? Jail's never been for me. I'm not really. I've been jail enough though, but it's not for me. So. It was more of a thing like, but 
I think I, I like to think anyway I'm good at adapting, so I just adapt to the situation. I just waiting to link my solicitor really and, and um see what, what what I can do about this. There's a lot of records that came out afterwards, so I, I guess the timeline is when did you and Storm actually first record your track? Um, I think he he was in LA or something, he made the tune uh, in two thousand and eighteen. And then I've gone to Drake's party. That's the first time I met him, do you know what I mean? He was saying, raw, it's got one tune. It reminded when he made it, he was just thinking a cool kid, like he was saying, raw, he didn't really wanna he didn't feel right to release the song without me being on it, cut I influenced him on the tune without me knowing. So he sent over the song, um, I laid my verse, he thought it was cold. Then we went back in maybe like end of 2018, 2019 to like we went to the studio, we went to Metropolis, and then just chopped it up like, do you know what I mean? Get it right, right, properly. And that's flavour, was it? Flavour, yeah. yeah. But with that time period, like, Stormzy, was, where was Stormzy in his career? Like, because you, you're... He was the, the GOAT, innit? Was he the GOAT at that time? Yeah, he's been the GOAT, he's been the GOAT. And then, so then you're, the, but then you're the next one up then? Nah, I've never thought of myself like that though, like... Really? Nah, I don't think, like, I was, like, next up or, like, Next, to be the next maddest thing. I just feel like from where I come from, my thing's just different, do you know what I mean? Cause it, I, I just feel like there was no one else that come from the same sort of environment man come from and was taking it to that level. Everyone else that was is just like cheery old guys, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So I was like, me and Heavy was like the first ones to like, yeah, come through all of that. But yeah, nah, nah, nah. But you know, it was, I guess, the confidence you have on the track. Mm. But I guess maybe you just, you just believe in your own source, like maybe. Because everyone looks at you, like, because everyone did look at you like you're... you're Obviously, I was young, in it. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm the youngest. That's the only thing that I feel like I had over Heady, innit? Because Heady's thing was Shelly, but I'm younger than him. So when he's doing stuff, it's like, you're meant to do that. You're a big man, do you know what I mean? Yeah, your tune, was it, was it, what's the tune that you guys did together? Um, you and Heady. Um, was it Duke? Was it? Ooh. Drill, drill, me, Heady and RB, but I was on that my first um, mixtape. Yeah, it was close though. So, bro, but what I'm trying to get to is in terms of like, the way we see you, yeah, yeah. from the outside was, I remember that time I was talking to Anthony and like, bro, like, even those times, like, no one could get, no one could sit next to those, that like, interviews were a myth, like, because bro, you're being seen as like, yeah, he's, he's kind of got clear. Yeah, I, I didn't even deep it like that though, man. Like, I try to stay humble with them things, you know what I mean? I don't really try and move like I'm better than everyone or because my thing's taking off, I can't. Because one thing I've always done, I've always still made tunes with underdogs, you know what I mean? I don't, you know, like Stormzy was like the first like big feature that man had. Apart from that, I weren't just only linking big dogs. I'm, do you know what I mean? Associating with everyone, really. Yeah. Bro, do you feel like when you was in jail the first time, right? Um, Before that, my case? No, the, what, up, well, when you were reminded, sorry. Mm. Did you, did you feel like things were slipping away, in terms of like, because I don't know. Nah, when, not at the time, not 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 straight away, not straight away. But when it got to the summer, and then like, I'm hearing bare different man on the radio and listening to Redden and Leeds Festival on the radio, thinking yo, I had a slot there, you know, I'm meant to be on right now. So, do you know what I mean? Hearing wireless was crazy, like 2019, that was like the maddest wireless because after that it was lockdown, do you know what yeah. I mean? But that was like, that was man's timing, so that, that that's the only thing that burnt me. Like, I'm on the exercise yard certain times, thinking, blood, I'm meant to be at wireless or I'm meant to be at this festival, you know what I mean? Apart from that, were there any other things that were kind of like lined up that was that were good to go in your career? Yeah, man was gonna go um Nigeria at the end of that month to do the tune with Davido. Oh, so that song was recorded from? Yeah, I made that song in jail, bro, when I was in Felton. I made that song when I was like 16, 17. For real? Yeah, but I come out, but obviously you can't. Yeah. I couldn't have come out of Hazards and dropped that tune. That wouldn't have made more sense. But I had that tune locked in from early. I made it the same when I made Forest Camp in jail as well. So, so now. Yeah. All right, so now you're getting to summer now, so things are kind of, you're seeing other things happening. Mm. Are you, even though you're not out yet, are you seeing like kind of the tides changing, the sounds changing? Because the music you were making before then may have changed to what you're doing. Ah, like, um, 
obviously there's there's just bare people that like took it to a mad level do you know what i mean like h's thing went crazy before i went joe h was shelling but he went crazy crazy yet he went crazy that year like db went crazy crazy there's bare like there's bare man though that come through like and started ripping up everything and i thought bro i'm meant to be doing that as well though do you know what i mean so but i don't i don't i don't, I don't really get envious of that stuff there i just I just thought, yeah, cool, when I get out of here, I'm going to shell it up the same way. Okay, so then, when, when did you come out? 2020, February. So how long were you remanded in total at that time? Like 11 months. 11 months? Mm. That's, what, what's the hardest thing actually being in during that period, though? Like, for real, like? Um, like, being in jail. Like, I don't care, like, it sounds mad, I don't care about music in jail. Obviously, I'm hungry, I'm writing songs and that, but... I know my talent in it, I know what I can It's not like some man, they're like they they're not good at making music, so they might be worried or 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 or, or scared that the sound's gonna change. I know I can do different sounds when I'm ready, so the the the, the music adapting is not what I'm right about. Bro, I just wanna I don't like being in a cell bro, it's long, do you get it? Like I've got bare man rapping to me, like <laughs> bare different nonsense going on, do you know what I mean? At the time I'm thinking, that go see my girl and that like can't get no sex nothing like it's dead job like <laughs> it's dead man so yeah like your family do you know what i mean and obviously from where man come from man's been stressing out like, my mom's been stressed out for how man's growing up man's whole life so for me to get a job and be going clear to come back in jail that's hurting i mad. do you know what i mean so just little things like that man. what else i guess you probably correct me if it takes out but you, you've had plans to try and get your mum out off the ends mm. prior to, to going to jail. No, fact. So when you're going inside, mm. that's going to be compromised. So how did, did you feel guilty at all that now? It's like the thing you want to do for yeah, your Yeah, 100%. 100%. But I don't know, bro, man. You see stuff like that, it's timing, isn't it? You know what I mean? I know, bro, when I get back, I can get back straight and just pattern up what needs to be done. But I know that stuff there, That that's not something that, like, is taken away because you can always make that right do you know what i mean i can't get back my years i can't be 19 again i can't be the 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 new kid the the, the hottest thing again but i only did that now at the time i weren't do you know what i mean i was just thinking right i need to get out of jail but when you came when you came when you came out actually when you were in jail was that when biz passed yeah man. what would i get because that that crazy time so again dealing with that type of loss inside yeah uh, it must have been super hard for you as well no yeah that 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 mashed me up because that that one day mashed me up. Cause I didn't even know, do you know what I mean? I mean, I was, I was, I was in my cell, and, and a brother come to me on the wing like, yo, I heard this dead, man. So I'm thinking, bro, that's a chatting, man. Do you know what I mean? I'm phoning home now, trying to phone my mum and that, but they're not answering. I'm thinking, what's going on? Phone mum and that. They're just crying on the phone. So I knew from there, do you know what I mean? She didn't have to tell me I was locked off. Then the guards come to me, telling me, and that, but yeah, joked. It's crazy, man. And then when you came out in February, I guess, and I guess, how am I going to put it? Were you, were you angry when you came out? Or were you just relieved because you've had like 11 months taken from you? Nah, I weren't angry, innit? Obviously, there's, there's like, I don't know. Everyone's got different ways of dealing with stuff, do you know what I mean? Obviously, the, like by the time I've come out, it's only been two months since this died, do you know what I mean? So, still kind of man still thinks about stuff like that to now do you know what i mean but obviously man still wasn't healed from when my brother and lats died as well so it was more like blood again you don't think them things are going to happen again and again so it, it, it i don't know man i don't know because yeah. that's 2018 yeah and this was 2019 yeah, yeah later when you say you weren't healed like what do you what is healing then or what Ooh. you can't though man it don't happen it's fake there's no such thing as healing with that stuff there don't have, don't believe it. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So but when you come out now, um, and I guess I'm, I'm talking more now the music thing, you've come out, mm. but things have moved along now, so people's positions are kind of like being kind of Yeah, it's gone, it's, 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 bare man, it's up and stuck for them right now. Yeah. My thing is jammed. It's not even jammed because I was pepper. When I deep it now, my thing was mad. When I come out, slightly slow. Don't get twisted though, I've got enough love to come out. In the first place I went, um, Brit after party, mad. 
Do you know what I mean? Getting bare love and that. But obviously everything's different now. I've got mad bell conditions. I'm on GPS tag. I've got to be in my house for 11 o'clock. I've got 20 of my brethren that I've grew up with my whole life. I'm not allowed of normal. I'm allowed of like one or two men from the ends. And they're even in jail now, so I'm not allowed of normal. My circle's different. I'm not allowed in the ends. And it's only, it's only mad because when I deep it, it's like the, 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 the character that I put out for the people, I can't even give that to them. Because they want to see, do you know what I mean? They want to see SD, they want to see Bells, they want to see AD, they want to see Blanco in my videos, they want to see Mizzy right next to me, they want to see, do you know what I mean? All of us, and I can't give that to them. They want to see me in my hood and flagging the ends how, how I was doing it, do you know what I mean? And then drop the bangers, the radio bangers for them, same time, but they want to still see that what I come up giving to them, because it's elevation, do you know what I mean? Obviously, I'm not still going to be looking. When I come through, I was just some dirty kid in the hood, do you know what I mean? But as it elevates, your team gets better, do you know what I mean? They want to see me giving the, 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 that lifestyle in a way, do you know what I mean? But I, I can't give it to them, so that's mashing me up as well, because there's man that come up with or after me that is doing that, do you know what I mean? And music at the end of the day is who's the truth. The rap genre that man do anyway, do you know what I mean? If you're a lover man singer, it's all who gets the nicest gab. If you're a drill rapper, it's who's the realest, do you know what I mean? If you're a real rapper, it's who hits home the most, do you know what I mean? Like, so, for the lane that I was in, I couldn't give, to this day I can't, do you know what I mean? Until this case is over, I can't give the fans exactly what they want, so. I can't even talk about certain things. I can't talk about certain incidents. I can't talk about certain and they're not gonna understand that sort of that's that's the headache that man's trying to deal with right now. So that is, it feels like you've had your authentic not I'm Yeah bro, it. exactly that. Is that how you feel? hundred percent bro, this is not me, like what they're seeing bro. This is not the same what they did did. No, this is not the plan bro. This is not the plan at all. But obviously it can get fixed, innit? That's what I'm saying. That like, same way you're saying, no, you didn't get to move your mum at the end yet. Yeah, that stuff can get fixed. This, where I'm at right now in my career, that stuff will get fixed eventually, do you know what I mean? I just got to ride through this little piece here and get to it off. Okay, if I sit down moaning about it all day, I'm just going to pump myself down, so I just got to do what I can do, really. The, um, the conditions that you're under, mm. when you go into the studio, not when you go into the studio, but it's like, you can't go to where you're from, basically. You can't be around yeah. your friends. Yeah. So what, I'm guessing, what part are you creating from when you can't speak on certain things? It feels really sanitized. Yeah, obviously there's still ways of speaking about certain things, but uh, it's not exactly how I want it to be, and you just try to make the best out of the situation. Do you know what I mean? So The, the releases, then um, we'll talk about this off camera. Do you feel that they were rushed at the time? Your last two projects? Yeah, because I'm working towards a trial date. Do you know what I mean? When I made my music trial and trauma, if I could have, I'm, I'm, I'm released, I'm, I released in what, like November, was that? That's not the best time to release. Everyone knows that. But I'm working against my trial, do you know what I mean? So if I don't release it, then what am I going to put out? So it's like, yeah, man, I'm just, I, I was, I was just, it's exactly that I'm working to try and release music before my trial, so you might push certain tunes too early, and then if you miss that, then you've missed it, and now you're releasing too late. So, yeah. Did um when when you really are we able to like promote the projects properly? Are we able to do nah. I had a joke thing. I got um I, I release I release my project, and then like four days later, you feds got, feds got, come to my yard and. They saw SD in the house, so they're like, oh, you're going back to jail. <laughs> so I didn't get to, like, do you know me and Greece? I didn't get to promote properly. And it's my, that was my first album, you know what I mean? I didn't get to go to other cities and merch up the place and see these there, see these there, meet my fans. No show, do you know what I mean? So. Well, how long were you reminded, well, how long did they hold you at that time? Uh, Seven months, sir. After oh, that one? Yeah, seven months. Uh, and that was that. But I had my trial by May. I got reminded in November. I had my trial by May. Okay, so you're, you're 
while she reminded you still going to the trial. Yeah. That's crazy, man. So and that's why it's a joke thing, though, because I, I'm sure my trial was meant to start in, like, January or something. But because of that COVID nonsense, they ended up pushing back my trial. So then I ended up releasing when I didn't have to release. Then again, I got reminded, so good thing, but you don't know where you're going to be in life at that time. So if I weren't rushing, I might have not been in the place I'd have been. A man might have not been in my house at that day. I might have not been with bro that day. So it's like I was there rushing to release a project that I didn't even have to release in November because my trial didn't start till May anyway. So I could have released my project in March. Do you know what I mean? You could have charted but I could have done everything better. But it's just the court system, isn't it? You never know how they're going to deal with you. Even though you don't talk about like sales and that, did you feel disappointed how like are you looking at chart positions? Did you feel like nah, my thing's getting overlooked? Um, uh, at that time, yeah, I was mad. I was mad. I was mad. I was mad. Because I'm seeing man go top ten and twenties and top five and that, I'm thinking Brad, my thing's meant to be there. Obviously, don't get interested at the time. November's a hard time in it, so to still get in the top forty was good. But nah, man. Nah, nah. But, but then I'm, I'm missing certain main things that are meant to be in my music. So it's never going to be at its full potential until I'm free and can do everything. Do you know what I mean? How can it be my full potential if... Let's just say... Bro, 50% of, of what my fans... 50% is my music. The other 50% is my character. What is Lorsky's character? It's a man from Canada. I'm not allowed in Canada. My associates. I'm not allowed with my associates. Do you know what I mean? The lifestyle around it. I cannot talk about the lifestyle around it. So that's 50% of the Lorsky that's not allowed to be put out. How am I going to ever chart or, or properly or, or be in a certain position properly if I can't even put that out or give it to the fans? You know? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So I can be mad, but it's, like it's getting taken away from me. So there's reasons, you know what I mean? It's not like I'm a free man and just being lazy and all. Nah, I mean, there's, there's a whole reason behind it. And I guess this is probably like the first time you've spoken about it. I guess the fans, because you haven't even been able to say that that's the reason. Nah, right? I can't talk about my case. Okay, and I, again, is it that they say you can't talk about the case or your, your team says it's best for you not to talk nah, about it? Nah, my bell conditions. Oh, it's probably your conditions? Yeah, there you talk about this case out loud. You're going back to jail. <laughs> like, nothing good, you can't even let it. You like, can't speak about anything about it at all. Nah, not why the case is live. Like, nah, that's nah. You're not allowed to do that. That must be crazy. Yeah, it's a joke thing. Yeah, that's mad. That is mad. Because all they hear is oh, what the blogs and that put. There was a gun in the car in jail. They've had news reports or whatever what the incident is, but it's like no one ain't heard nothing from me. 